I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin County, with an update for June 9th. This week, wildfire smoke has covered most of the Northeast, from fires in Canada. As we come into our wildfire season, it's a good time to review the basic steps we can all take to prepare. Exposure to wildfire smoke is a public health concern because the whole community is exposed at once to the fine particles and harmful chemicals in the smoke, which can affect our lungs and our hearts. Inhaling smoke irritates the respiratory system. This causes sore throat, coughing, wheezing, or shortness of breath. It's especially harmful to people with conditions like asthma or emphysema, especially in older age. Ultra-fine particles in smoke can also get into our bloodstream through our lungs and trigger inflammation in blood vessels, which increases the risk of heart attack and stroke. The severity of health effects of wildfire smoke depends on three things mainly. The concentration of particles, which is measured by the Air Quality Index, or AQI, which I'll describe. The duration of smoke exposure, that is whether it happens over hours or days and our overall health. People with underlying respiratory illnesses are at higher risk. And here are four simple things we can all do to protect ourselves when there's wildfire smoke. The first is to stay informed. As the situation with New York illustrates, the wildfires that affect air quality can be hundreds of miles away. So your own powers of observation are a great tool. Smoky air is visible. But to have a specific sense of the air quality, the best tool is the online monitoring system called AirNow. If you type AirNow into any search engine, you can enter your zip code and you'll get the Air Quality Index, or AQI, for your community with a forecast. AQI describes the concentration of fine particles in the air. Higher numbers mean worse air quality. When the AQI is 150 or greater, or in that red range on the AQI color index, it's time for the general public to take special precautions. The next recommendation when AQI is elevated is to limit outdoor activities, especially during times when the smoke is heaviest. Stay indoors as much as possible to minimize your exposure. Researchers at Berkeley have calculated that when the AQI is 200 in the purple tier, being outdoors all day is equivalent to smoking about a half a pack of cigarettes. The third step is to create a clean indoor environment as much as possible. Close all windows and doors to prevent smoke from entering your home or workspace and use air, pur air purifiers or air cleaners. If you have air conditioning, run it on the recirculate function with the new filter and avoid vacuuming or frying foods or using gas powered appliances. The last critical step is to use a mask when you're outdoors when the air quality is poor. Nowadays, masks are more routine. We have them around and we know how to use them. N95 masks was a good seal, filter both viruses and the most damaging tiny smoke particles. So don't throw away those N95 masks. And if there's smoke in the air, put it on when you're outside. This is especially important for people who work outdoors, like day laborers, and employers should provide masks for their workers. Bandanas or paper masks or even cloth masks are not effective against wildfire smoke. To stay connected about any large scale emergency, including wildfires, visit the Marin County Emergency Portal and sign up for Nixle, Ready Marin, and PG&E alerts. You'll also find information about preventing wildfires there. Finally, according to the EPA and the CDC, Wildfires are expected to increase in intensity and frequency due to climate change. So it's important to connect the dots and see our efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, to slow the pace of climate change as measures we're taking for our own health today and for the health of our children and their children. Thank you for doing your part.